Hello and welcome to this HOG4 tutorial which will show you how to set up a mobile device such as an iPad so that it can be used to control basic functions on your console with the use of the Touch OSC application. This application is now also available on the Android platform and the templates created by high-end systems for the iPad and iPhone can still be used. The steps that will be shown in this tutorial for the iPad can be directly applied to setting up your Android device. OSC is supported on all the consoles in the HOG4 range. It is also supported on HOG4 PC, but please note that all encoders and faders are disabled. First of all, visit the App Store and download the Touch OSC application for your iPad. You will also need to visit the support section of the High End Systems website. Scroll down to the third party tools section and download the Touch OSC templates for HOG4 control. Then click on the Touch OSC software link, which will take you to the developer's website, hexler.net. Scroll down towards the bottom of the page and download the Touch OSC editor software. In order to transfer the HOG4 templates to your iPad, you must first open them in the Touch OSC editor. Launch the Touch OSC editor on your computer. Click open and locate the template you wish to use. Next, you should ensure that your iPad is using the same Wi-Fi connection as your computer and then open the Touch OSC application. Touch the layout and in the next screen, touch add. Now back on your computer, click sync. You will see your computer is found by the iPad. Touch on your computer name and the template will be transferred to your iPad. Repeat this process to transfer any of the other templates you require and then on your computer, click Stop Sync. We must now set up a network that both the HOG4 console and the iPad can connect to. Connect a wireless router to your network switch and also connect the HOG4 to the switch using the HOGnet port. The router is using the IP address 172.31.0.1 and so I'm going to set the HOG4 console to use 172.31.0.2. Point zero, point two. Press Setup followed by the Control Panel Soft key and then press the HogNet tab to configure your network settings. The IP address of the iPad has been set to 172.31.0.3. It is now necessary to configure the OSC settings on the HOG4 console. Press Setup followed by the Network Soft key. Then select the console, and in this case, the HOG4 console is net number two. Press settings, and then the open sound control tab. On the iPad, open the OSC settings by touching here. The outgoing port number on the iPad should match the input port on the HOG4. Likewise, the incoming port number on the iPad should match the output port on the HOG4. These two ports need to be different, so I have used 7000 and 7001. In the host row of the iPad, you need to enter the IP address of the HOG4, and on the HOG4, enter the IP address of the iPad. Enable OSC in and OSC out, and press OK to store these settings. On the iPad, return to the main screen, select the desired layout, and then press Done to launch the template. You should now be able to control the basic programmer and playback functions on your console from your iPad. Please note that the faders are moving on this HOG4 PC display because the HOG4 is part of the network and the iPad is configured to control the HOG4 console and not HOG4 PC. If your device is configured to control HOG4 PC, the faders and encoders will not have any effect. In the next tutorial, we shall look at setting up both MIDI and linear timecode as well as the use of the learn timing function. Thank you for watching.